Hi, I'm Louise. About 25 years ago, I was on TV with Harry doing a bunch of ads about healthcare. And now I'm retired and here to talk to you about Social Security. The bottom line is that the president is playing politics and undermining Social Security. Despite his promises not to touch Social Security, he has issued an executive order to temporarily defer payroll taxes. He thinks this will stimulate the economy, but it does nothing for people with no jobs and no paychecks. And it's also very confusing because not every employer is going to follow his executive order. Only those that are forced to, like the government and the military. So what happens when those taxes need to be repaid next year? Americans will be scrambling to pay them back in 2021, unless, President Trump pushes through his next scheme, which really worries me, because now he's promising to eliminate payroll taxes entirely if he's re-elected president. Please understand, payroll taxes fund Social Security, and without them, it will be totally defunded in just two and a half years. Benefits will have to be cut. We've been paying into Social Security our entire working lives. We've earned these benefits. And if he defunds Social Security, what happens to us retirees? To disabled? To the survivors? Do we go on public assistance? Do we move in with our children and become the next generation's responsibility? What happens to us?